Hello, I'm Martin Warwick, reporting from the Small Cells World Summit at Excel in East London, and I'm talking with Sami Susiaho, who's Head of Edge Technologies at the Cloud. What factors are driving mobile network demand for small cells? Well, you, you will run out of spectrum if one doesn't do smaller cells, just because of the, the nature of the, um, the business. Mobile data usage is growing. We have more usage, more users that want more data, but we have a finite amount of spectrum available. The factor of thousand-fold increase in spectral efficiency is not going to happen. We won't be able to get more spectrum, so we just have to reuse it more effectively, which inevitably reduces the, the size of the cell, and smaller cells is just going to happen. There's no two ways about it. So that's what's driving the market at the moment and where the opportunities are. Let's look on the obverse of the coin. What do you think are the key challenges, the problems that are being faced by telcos as they begin to deploy and implement small cell solutions? Well, two things. First is the, the obvious one. The, always the biggest problem on any site is the getting the site. So what we call three Ps, poles, power and pipe, which is the backhaul. And um, that's always the biggest challenge. But I think we are very good at that in, in the cloud, and um, that's really something you have to be really good at, otherwise you won't have a good estate, or it won't be in the right place where the people dwell, uh, where they need more data. And the other thing is uh, the backhaul. In, in small cells, when we go to 5G, for example, we need to be able to communicate between the radio heads in a very efficient manner, so we need low latency connections, which means either dark fiber or wireless point-to-point -point links or near line of sight links which are a challenge, to say the very least. Now, do you think small cell technology is actually capable of delivering telco requirements now, as of this moment, or does the technology need more development? Sure, more development is needed. The releases 9, 10, 11, 12 on the 3GPP are all needed. Um, I see the roadmap ending up uh, somewhere 2016, 2017 timeline in terms of needed developments. We certainly do need a whole bunch of developments in order to be able to eke out every single ounce of capacity from the existing spectrum and be more in line in terms of convergence between different technologies, not just 2G and 3G and 4G, which is a challenge in its own right. Then with Wi-Fi as well, as different cellular and different Wi-Fi networks need to be able to hand over the sessions in a rather seamless manner. None of that happens today and all of it needs to be developed. And how does small cells for 4G and beyond fit in with the move towards NFV, Network Functions Virtualization? Well, release 12 pretty much brings it all to the table. Um, before that, it's just a bunch of conferences talking about something that we might do one day. It could be that we want a proprietary way of doing it rather than going on a standardized way. One often forgets that you don't really need a standard if you are only building on your own network. You can do whatever you want. Standard is really only needed when you have to talk to the end user devices because you can't get a proprietary iPhone. It doesn't matter how many you buy, you still want to rely on the standard. What role do you see for small cells beyond 4G and into future 5G networks? Fundamental, absolutely fundamental. There's no two ways about it. You have to have small cells, absolutely have to have. And what technology you use, what frequency you use, licensed, unlicensed spectrum, Wi-Fi, 4G, LTE advanced, it's, it's all a kind of a mishmash, I hope. Uh, the only thing I would like not to be a mishmash is the spectrum in terms of what pieces of spectrum we use globally. So it would be really nice to have a harmonized spectrum map. So regulators, you know, <laughs> could you just agree globally on what spectrum we use for mobile data? That would be great. Sami Susiaho, thanks very much. Thank you.